And how does, that, how does that key work? So basically, Jason, it's dot, circle, and then box. Okay. Okay, dot, circle, box. I, I explain more. Right. So the dot is the dot on the screen that you see here. Okay, yeah, if you hover it on the blue, you can just about see it there, can't you? Absolutely. And when you see that dot, and you press the button on the S Pen, you get Air Command. Okay. Air Command. Sounds like a... 8-bit game from the 80s. I'm guessing it's not. No, it's not. But Air Command, it's got five convenient features rolled up in one, and there's no learning curve. And it can be accessed from anywhere on the screen when you see the dot. So it's very simple. I hover anywhere over the screen like so, and I press the button to get Air Command. And it brings this fan-type menu. And so from here, I choose either Action Memo, Scrapbook, Screen Write, S Finder or Pen Window. And let's take a look at one of them. Let's take a look at Action Memo. So from here, I can either write down a phone number or write down an address, or I can go to my old memos right here. Okay. And let's just say I wrote down a phone number before, and I pulled it up right here, but I forgot to save it. Yeah. So what's interesting is that I go to the Link to Action button right here, and it automatically identifies my handwriting, and the type of information that I wrote down. So you said action memo. Uh, that's the memo bit, obviously. Where's the action? Okay. So from here, I have these options below. I can either call the number directly. I can save it to my contacts. Okay. But if it was some other information, I could then send an email or even search on a map. But for this, let's save it to my contacts. <laughs> and there we go. The name and number, it's saved into my contacts. And my action memo is right here minimized for easy access. That's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, and the, the handwriting recognition uh, seems to be uh, functioning really, really well. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's extremely useful. Absolutely. It is. And that was the dot, which takes us to Air Command by a simple click. And now we're on to Circle. Okay, tell us more about Circle, David. Okay, so Circle is all about capturing and organizing content in one place. Okay, I'm getting that. And it's like a scrapbook, and that's actually what we call it. So when I find content I want to save, it's as easy as drawing a circle. And let me show you how easy it is. I'm going to launch my browser to a page of some tech that I'm interested in, mm -hmm. okay? Now I go to something that I want to save for later, and what I do is I bring up Air Command, and I click on Scrapbook. And all I do is I just draw a circle around the content that I want, and from here, I get to then put it in a category, one that exists, or I can just create my own. And the layout, I can select what type of layout it'll be in. I'm gonna put it in a category called tech. And there we go. It's saved in my scrapbook. And let me just show you what it looks like in the scrapbook. Go to the category I made, and there it is, organized really neatly. And just to top it off, let me go to a category that's filled with content. Yeah. And you can just see that there's images, web pages, easy clip content, even video that you can put in your scrapbook. Okay, so immediately I noticed Samsung Germany. What's that? Uh, uh, an audio doc. Well, let's, let's go inside. Yeah. And what you're going to see is the content that I captured. Yeah. But what's interesting, Jason, is that I can go back to the source that I found it from just by clicking this link button up here. And there it is. Yeah. There's the source. Okay, and, and basically you're selecting all kinds of assets uh, with nothing more difficult than a, a simple circle. That's the idea. Absolutely. So it collects whatever you want and organizes it so you can easily find it and view it, again, all in one place. Yeah, that, that's the, it's interesting you say it because all this personal content, I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm, I'm just accruing huge amounts of, of stuff that I'm saving now, you know, images and websites and videos and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that, sometimes that personal content is at once, even two of the same kind. Just drag it and drop it in the chat box. Or draw a window to call up key apps. That's the true definition of a smart, large screen. So, 
The Note 3 has a 5.7 inch full HD Super AMOLED screen. But even with a bigger screen, we kept the width of the device the same. So you get the same great feeling, but now you're able to multitask better with more display. Also, this isn't the first time that we're doing multitasking. In fact, an additional aspect of the box is our improved multi-window, which we introduced with the Note 2 last year, and which we have even made better this year. Okay, so a, a new multi-window. Could you demo it for us? Absolutely. So with the new multi-window, you can even have the same app open in two windows. So you can have two chat-on apps running simultaneously. So lastly, you can chat with two different friends at the same time. Got it? I'm, I'm getting there, yeah. All right, so let's just put a situation up here. Yeah. Let's say I'm talking to my friend Rachel, and she knows everything about Berlin. So she sent me some restaurant suggestion that I'm going to share with my coworker, Justin. Well, let's bring Justin into the window. Open up another chat on window here. There's Justin. And all I do is I just initiate drag and drop right here, select what I want to share, and just drag it over. The key is that I have two chat on windows. Wow, there you go. <laughs> we got their attention, Jason. Absolutely. Okay. The key is that two chat on windows open at the same time. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, now we also have a convenient and creative feature for enhanced multitasking called Pen Window. So, Pen Window lets you draw a box on the screen to call up other useful applications. Okay, so uh, that's where the box thing comes in? Yes, yeah. finally. Yes. So, you draw the window whatever size you need, right? The point is, it brings up quick access to apps for daily tasks that you like to perform more quickly. Okay, so uh, can we see it in action? Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. So, okay, pen window is great when you're doing something on the phone and you quickly need to access another application. So this friend and myself, we went to Australia and we need to sort out expenses, okay? And here they are. Now, in this situation, I need a calculator for this, okay? So all I do is I launch Air Command, I select Pen Window, and then I draw a box on the screen the size I want. And then I'm gonna click Calculator, and the thing is, I can do all the calculations right here. That's cool. Yeah. That's working. Absolutely, and there's so many other use cases for this, but here I can do the calculation, send the total, and I did not have to switch apps. Yeah, the idea is you draw a box that is a size for whatever application you want to use, but you can still see the other one in the same frame. Yes, yeah. whatever size you want. So Jason, in summary, with the Note 3, it's dot, circle, and box. Okay. It's simple and clear, and it's all you need to remember to understand what the Note 3 can do for you. Okay, yeah, I think, I think we all understand that. Uh, anything else that you think you should mention? Of course there is. So, the Note 3 has My Magazine, which is a new feature that collects all the stuff you want to follow and presents it in a stylish magazine format, like news and social feeds provided by Samsung and partner apps. Plus, we've integrated the location-based service here and now so you can get information about what's going on around you. So this service rolls out first in the US and then around the world. Another feature that really takes advantage of this great screen is multivision. So Jason, remember the group play feature that we, we developed for the Galaxy S4? Uh, yeah, yeah, the um, basketball team, each with an S4. I think it was five guys, was it four or five guys? Mm -hmm. And you could join the audio output of these four S4s or five S4s into a surround sound. Is that what you mean? That's correct. Yeah. So, well, that was cool, and it that, was. Was, that was snazzy. I mean, you need a lot of S4s, okay? You need a basketball team, basically, yeah. but yeah, I get the idea. Well, then, you're going to like this too, okay? Because multivision is just like that, but now instead of just sound, you can put together two or more Note 3s next to each other and create an even larger screen to watch videos. Okay, we, we want to see that. Definitely want to see that. Sure. So, head over to the Experience Zone after the show, okay. and you can check it out. So Jason, now it's time to talk about smart freedom. Yeah. And this concept grows out of two phenomena, 
The first is smartphones, they're getting smarter and smarter. And the second is freedom and mobility. People have these great devices for connecting to the world and making their lives easier and more productive. They want to use their smart device with more freedom. And Samsung has made it happen. And I'll be back in a few minutes to tell you more. All right, thank you very much, David, ladies and gentlemen.